Hey guys, it's Jared here with the Goofy Review again. This time I'm gonna do something for you guys to keep your water and all your other fluids cool during the hot summer days. Today was one of them days here, I tell you what. I'm a bit of a welder, so I'm used to the hot weather and I gotta be outside sometimes. And today it was 30 degrees outside, Celsius. Not fairly, Celsius. Freaking hot. It's going to be even hotter. It's going to get up to like 35, 36 here sometime this week. So I'm glad I got this thing here. The High Sierra Cooler. This thing's huge. It's got this little clip thing on here. So you can clip it onto some stuff. The handle here is nice big. And it's got a screw here in it. And it's got a little hinge point here. So I think you can probably take the screw out and maybe hold it a different way I don't know I never tried I'm not gonna try because I don't need to and then you look at the bottom down here okay so we'll turn it over made in China yep everything on the freaking planet's made in China that's just how it is only cold liquids is that upside down yes it is there we go made in China Cold liquids only, BPA free, 1.9 liters, 64 ounces of fluid, boys and girls, I suppose, and this and that and whatever else you call yourselves. This thing is wicked, boys, but on hot days like this, when it's over 30 degrees, you, you gotta prepare the day before. I knew it was gonna be hot, so I filled her right up to about here almost full and then I put her in the freezer with the top off and let her freeze solid and then I didn't put nothing in it she froze solid over the night and then I took her to work today I had my coffee in the morning as I usually do it was freaking like 20 odd degrees first thing this morning when I got up to go to work so she was frozen solid I get to work and about first coffee around 10 o'clock or so it's starting to get pretty hot so i'm gonna switch over from my coffee to my water and i already had a thing of water a 500 ml bottle of water in my uh, truck that it wasn't cold but it wasn't warm it was i guess it was warm i suppose you call you want to call it room temperature and what i did <clears throat> i popped the top off of this thing it had a little small bit of water in it I drank the little bit of water that was in it, so it was so the ice chunk that was in there dropped all the way down to the bottom, left me some room, and then I dumped that 500 ml bottle of water in there. Then I closed her up, give her a good shake, and oh my god, I almost got a brain freeze when I tried drinking it. But check this out, boys. I worked for 11 hours today. I started at 7 o'clock this morning. Right now, it's 6.35. I filled this thing up. Well... Yeah, so we would say from 7 o'clock on, it was outside, out of the freezer, in the warm, in the truck. And it sat in the truck. And in that truck, you know how vehicles get. They get real hot when they're in the sun. And because I'm a welder and I weld on a truck, the truck is not in the shade. It's out in the middle of a field, getting the sun burning down on it. I have my windows open so I don't get super freaking hot inside my car because I, in the truck. Because I got to sit in there during coffee and lunch, eh? And I tell you what, boys, I'm going to show you something here. This thing still gives me brain freeze when I try to drink out of it. I'll show you. Mind you, I didn't drink a whole lot of water today. I was still drinking out of my coffee. I drank about a liter out of it, which is, I, I guess I could have drank a little bit more. Check that out. That chunk of ice in there still. That's a big chunk of ice still. That's about um, four inches thick still. That's gonna be frozen for quite some time yet. I'm gonna put some more water in it. And then, uh, oh, oh, and watch. Uh, it only turns so far and it locks. So you can't over tighten it and strip it. And then, and then, this locks. So you can't open it, no matter what. You push the button, it won't open. Watch. Now it's unlocked. <sighs> in the zombies, it can't open up on you accidentally. And oh, 
the whole thing's made of rubber boys. And <laughs> that's something. It seals against this hair, so you're never going to make a spill. I love it. You guys should go and get yourself one. Nice grips here on the side. This thing is wicked, boys. I hope you like this uh, review. And tune in for more. And subscribe. Hit some likes and some thumbs up. Notifications. All that stuff. Write some good comments. Okay. Bye-bye for now.